Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows error that some of the settings are hidden or managed by an organization on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a very frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and copy some text I'm going to have in the description of my video, guys. So go ahead and copy it from the description of my video. And I will have it underneath text used or something to that effect. So again, text used. So go ahead and copy that. And once you've copied it, open up the search menu. Type in notepad. Best match. We're going back with notepad. Go ahead and open that up. And then paste in that text. So right-click and paste or Control-V. And then once you have it in a notepad file here, you want to go ahead and select file and then save as. Save it to the desktop. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, filefix.bat. And then underneath save as type, click in the drop down, select all files, and then select save. And then once you have it on your desktop here, you want to go ahead and right click on it. Select run as administrator and then select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And then once you're done with that, and once you've run it successfully, go ahead and restart your computer. And you can delete the file on your desktop. You don't need it anymore. And then once you've done that, open up the search menu. Type in local group policy. Best match, or come back up edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the administrative templates folder. And then you want to double click on Windows components. And now that we are in here, you want to go and locate the Data, Collection, and Preview Builds folder. Just left click on that. And then on the right side, you want to select Allow Telemetry. Or it might say Allow Diagnostic Data on Windows 11. So they changed the name of it a little bit. It might say either Allow Diagnostic Data or Allow Telemetry. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And I'm going to select Enabled. And I'm going to click on the drop down here. And I'm going to select Send Optional Diagnostic Data. And then I'm going to select Apply and OK. And then once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the Search menu, type in PowerShell, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now you want to type in GP Update space forward slash force, again GP U-P-D-A-T-E space forward slash force and then hit enter. We're just going to be updating the group policy editor as we speak. And then keep this window open. We're going to go back into the local group policy editor again. Expand administrative templates. Expand Windows components. And then we're going to go underneath data collection and preview builds. And on the right side, again, go underneath allow diagnostic data or telemetry. And then we're going to set that to not configured. And then select apply and OK. You can close out of the group policy editor. And then you want to type in GP update space forward slash force again. And hit enter. And give it a moment. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should have been able to resolve the problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.